Sisters front row challenge. So still money on the line, and we may be jacking that up a bit more as we get close to these last few rounds if nobody decides to take the money. We will listen in to race director Doug Leonard as he talks to the drivers and gets them lined up. up. So race director Doug Leonard can talk to the drivers. They can not talk back to him. He can communicate messages like lineups, cautions, and other important information that would be tough to send off to them via sign language or chalkboards. Get a lot more detailed information. One thing Doug does not do is talk under the green. Once they go green, the next words they hear will be yellow or red. As to not throw them off their game. Some of the other divisions talk to their drivers while they're racing. Our guys typically do not want to hear anything unless something is going wrong. Checking the lineup. Looks good. It'll be wave in front row challenge. Coming out of turn four, it'll be wave in front row challenge. So that means fans, stand up on your feet when they come out of turn four. They'll be waving back at you. Let them know you appreciate them being here. Second of three races for the Action Sprint Tour. We'll listen in to Doug Leonard as he offers the Derner Motors Challenge. And here we go. X, 87X, do you elect to have it? You wiggled no. 29, it goes to you. Both have declined the front row challenge. Drivers, this will be 20 laps. 20 laps, front row's gonna fire together at that green barrel. Rows two on back, bring a nice, tight, square and even. We're coming to green, 20 laps, good luck. We listen in as Doug Leonard communicates with the drivers. 20 laps, you've seen both. Sean Evans and Liam Martin declined the front row challenge. Steven, the 500 bucks. Stay safe in the vault for another week. I'm surprised it stayed safe again, but here we go. Just shows you how valuable track position and front row starting spots are here on the tour. Here they come off of turn four, a snail's pace. Green flag is out, and we are off to turn one. They go rolling, it'll be Sean Evans, the first one to lead them to the bottom. Evans, your leader, here comes Jesse Costa. He'll go up by Liam Martin, he'll take over second. Hanson fourth, Aaron Turkey fifth, and Turkey is on the march already on the outside, off four for the first time. Wow, Aaron Turkey passed four cars in lap number one, and if he didn't get pinched off, could have very well had two more. He's going for two more on the outside. Aaron Turkey won every possible checkered flag on Friday night and wants to take them away again here tonight. Off of four, Aaron Turkey and Josh Hanson. Hanson has the third spot. Turkey committed to the outside in the early stages of this 20 lap A main as Liam Martin issues in the 29 a broken front end. He'll pull it into the infield. We will stay clean and green. Tough break for Liam Martin. He pulls down the infield. We can keep it under green flag action. And now Sean Evans leading Aaron Turkey. And those two run second and third in the points. Evans running in third spot. Turkey up to second on the track. He's second in the points ahead of Jesse Costa. Back to the line, Aaron Turkey leading Josh Hansen for second, Brandon Morrell and Jesse Costa, your top five. Sean Evans has already stretched the lead out over Aaron Turkey as they're into turns over three and four lap. Traffic's coming in a few short laps. Evans with a big margin out front. Turkey gonna have to use the cushion to his advantage through the black stuff. It's pretty slick out there. And now we watch them try and make their way around three and four. Giletta with problems on the bottom. He will bring it straight off of four underneath the Euclid tires, but Evans will come by and put him down a lap. Sean Evans, your leader. He'll get around the out. Gilletta, 22. Turkey second, Hanson third. Brandon Morrell, four. Jesse Costa, five. Sixth is Beckett, seventh is Dykstra. Brad Heron, eighth. The Beansville Bullet, Paul Klager, ninth. And Ryan Huntsinger completes your top 10 as Blaine Barrow slowing on the top side of two. And that will bring out your first caution of the night. He almost tied for the lead in the tour if they were to end right now. One and point either way, but right on top of each other they certainly would be. Coming in with three rounds to go. And we have a long way to go because we still have 13 laps to get around here. 
before we think about the last three shows of the 2018 Sean, season. Sean Evans has won two races here. Aaron Turkey's won two races. Jacob Dykstra won two races in the six tour races. So we'll see if anybody else can grab one tonight. Sean Evans really slow up there on the outside. You can see he's going to run it down the hill. He will get the jump, but so will Aaron Turkey through the good dark stuff, and away we go. Off the turn one and two, they roll. Everybody getting by the cone without issue, and onto the back straightaway goes Sean Evans in the 87X. Sean Evans and Aaron Turkey, one, two. Hanson third, side by side for fourth between Jesse Costa and Brandon Morrell. It's given the four spot now to Jesse Costa. Point leader up to fourth position, trying to catch the two leaders of the race and keep himself out front of the point standings. Nine will be on the counter this time with 11 to go for the 87X of Sean Evans from Scotland, Ontario in the Miles Hill machine. Off of four, back to the line. We're halfway this time. 10 down, 10 to go for Sean Evans, who starts to increase the lead again over Aaron Turkey as they're going single file for about the first days. We got one over the edge off three and four. Alan Gilletta Jr. lost the handle on the outside of turn number three. And he will come to rest on the top side of the cushion. We'll get him pushed off and back to it in short order here. And try and get this one going. Ten in, ten to go here in the action sprint to round number seven presented by RaceRivals.com. Next race on the tour will be next Saturday at Brighton Speedway. For information, log on to BrightonSpeedway.com. It's next Saturday. Or you can also find us on the web at ActionSprintTour.com. ActionSprintTour.com. Right, Sean Evans, your race leader Aaron Turkey, definitely needs to go to the outside. That is where the bite still is on this racetrack. But we'll see what happens on the restart as Sean Evans, last restart, went really high going into three and four and then dropped it right to the bottom of the racetrack. So Aaron Turkey needs to have one of his best restarts ever to get around the 87X. Sean Evans has played it perfectly these last couple of restarts. You see a super slow pace. That tells me his car takes off very well. And he feels confident now. He will jump on the gas and drive away and catches Aaron Turkey. Five boat, five car lengths by the time they get to one. Turkey does it though. He goes up to the top and will try and reel the outside. As we talk about them, Costa trying to get underneath Josh Hansen for third. Trying to get underneath Josh Hansen. Can't do it that time. As they swing off of four, Hansen keeps position number three ahead of Costa, Morrell, Beckett, Jacob Dykstra, and the Beamsville Bullet. Going wheel to wheel with Brad Heron as they're off for one and two with the leaders entering three and four. Co Costa trying to catch the back end of Hanson, but the real battle here is Sean Evans and Aaron Turkey. Aaron Turkey sails it off into one. He'll have seven laps to go this time by. Can he catch the 87X of Sean Evans? That's the question. He's definitely carrying more speed through the turns. He is Sean Evans, better on the straightaways. Aaron Turkey getting off the center and exit of the corners, much better than Evans. As they both planted it right up on the inside. Hang on, Trevor Young spins it in three and four. And Al Gilletta did a little bouncy ball to get around the 51. They'll slow the field down again with 13 on the counter. That was a strange one. I thought they were going to get together. I looked over and saw Gilletta, as you said, bouncing over there. Looked like he was coming across the nose of Young. We'll see what's wrong with the Trevor Young 51. Looks like possible nose damage. Can't tell if the front end has been knocked out of the car. But it's Sean Evans again on the restart with seven to go. Well, Sean Evans just got a talking to from race director Doug Leonard. Said, keep up with the pace truck. Quit hanging back. You got to call and run the pace. That's why it's out there to show you how fast you need to be going. So Evans with a super slow pace. We're ready to go. And he's telling him right now, do not drop that pace, 87. And here we come through three and four. Pace truck down and away. Aaron Turkey on it, ready to pounce this time. I don't think Evans is going to catch him sleeping this time. And Evans waits way longer, and this may hurt him as Aaron Turkey going to have a blast to the outside this time to turn one. He'll blast it off the corner. Sean Evans down on the bottom, down the back straightaway. Evans up front. Turkey to the two spot, and here comes Aaron Turkey to the outside off turn four, hop the cushion. Evans still your leader with six to go. Might have been up a little bit too high for 
Aaron Turkey and doesn't pay off. He chops away at the gap again. Down the back shoot they go, into three. Evans right down on the inside in the good stuff. Turkey rolling through the black in the middle, trying to catch him with five to go here. Evans looking for his third tour win, as is Aaron Turkey. In the three and four, it's Evans and Turkey up front. Josh Hansen in third, if anything were to happen to the leaders. In off the corner, four laps to go. And your race leader continues to be the Eklund Insurance 87 X to Sean Evans. Evans down into three, smooth through the bottom. Aaron Turkey will follow him in, trying to get down in the good stuff as well and grab a bit of bite on that left rear. 17 laps to go. Sorry, in three to go now as 17 are complete. Sean Evans with about a five car length lead over Aaron Turkey. Turkey's gonna have to throw something at him here if he's gonna make anything happen. He has to do it now. Two laps to go and he's gotta play the cards he's dealt with. Into turns number one and two, Evans still your race leader ahead of Aaron Turkey. It's we got one on his lid and on his side. Red flag is out. And it will be Jerry Hill upside down on the 49H after contact with the Derek LaMare Burger Barn 56 car. And the safety crew on the scene immediately to get them back over. We bring in the action sprint tour scene here. We've got two fire and a medic to add to the Humberstone crew. And they will work on the Jerry Hill 49H. See if Jerry can get out of the car here. Driver is A-OK -okay is the report from turn number four. Car not so much. Top wing all banged up there. Steven on the Jerry Hill. Iroquois Hereford Farms IT Rentals Bickles Hardware Lawler Safety Martins Inspection Number 49H. Field comes to rest here. We will get them pushed off immediately. We've only got two laps to go here in the Action Sprint Tour A feature. So not sure what kind of damage is going on with the 56 of Derek Lemaire. He definitely got spun around. The 49 is going to have to get taken back to the pits. Looks like they're hooking him up to the tow truck right now. We'll see what's wrong with the 56 of Derek Lemaire. And then we'll get these cars pushed off right away. School. And then you got Sean Evans out there. We laughed about Aaron Turkey. Thank the concession staff on Friday night in the pits for keeping him fueled up after he won all the races. Here we come, Mike, that Ford pace truck into the pits. Two laps to go, Turkey and Evans on it, but so is Hanson, and they go at it back to the cone. Everybody survives as they take off. Turn number one, hang on, Paul Clegg or Brandon Morrell is up on his side. That is not Brandon Morrell, that is Jesse Costa, the point leader. And this is really gonna tighten things up with Sean Evans. Leading Aaron Turkey and a horrible break. We just talked about how one miss cube for any of the top three, and they could see trouble happen on their season wide battle here for the inaugural Action Sprint Tour Championship. Now, the question is he didn't go over really hard, Steven. Is it going to be something they can continue on with? Hard to tell from here if everything is busted up on the back end. So we wait for word on the situation with Jesse Costa and his car in turn number two. Fire and medic crew on the scene already to take a quick look at Jesse Costa.
So Jesse Costa was second in our Shrieken points to Sean Evans. So Evans in the 87X leading the points at home at us weekend comes in tonight third place in the points but will likely step over Jesse Costa so the points battle gonna dramatically tighten up here tonight Sean Evans and the 87 X bringing him around for a green white checkered finish they'll get the green the next lap they'll get the white checkers after that we are done. Don't forget, got to be single file. No pass until they hit the cone. We're on it. And that's the best restart Aaron Turkey's got all night, Steven. It is trying to get to the outside of Evans. He'll pull right up behind it, the rear of the 87X, down the back straightaway. Evans, your leader into turns number three and four. The clean sheets fly and final lap for the action sprint tour here at the new Hubbardstone. Aaron Turkey followed him in the bottom of three. That wasn't the correct way now. He'll take a run at him. Oh, he drove right up the back bumper. Had to get on the brakes and that's going to do it. Aaron Turkey going to see it go away unless he can make a massive Superman move on the outside. He can't do it. It'll be Sean Evans over Aaron Turkey. Josh Hansen, Jacob Dykstra. Fifth will be Brad Heron, then Morell Beckett. Plager, Hunsinger, and Jordan Hill with a great run at the end to grab 10th. And we'll go down and talk for the top three here in Victory Lane. We'll get it quickly over for you. Thank you for being here for the Action Sprint Tour race tonight. This brings... The Total Rentals 87X Car Star Tate's Automotive Acklin Insurance Machine down here to the Collinsville Estates Victory Lane here at the New Humberstone Speedway. Both Aaron Turkey and Sean Evans going to take a dramatic jump in the point standings tonight. Here he comes out of the 87X. How about a huge Humberstone Speedway Victory Lane welcome for your winner tonight, Sean Evans. Sean will climb up there and greet your fans. How about it, Humberstone, for your winner tonight, Sean Evans. Aaron Turkey and Josh Hansen here as well. And the points battle will really tighten up here on the tour. We'll get a quick word with them both, and then we'll send it back to you guys for the BEI Lightning Series Sportsman Tour event getting ready over in the pit area right now. Come on over here, Sean. Sean, your third tour win on the season tonight. You're going to jump up in the points, but certainly not the way you want to do it. Jesse Costa leaves in the ambulance, and that's going to put you guys over top of him in the point standings tonight and really tighten things up with three races to go. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care about the points. I just hope Jesse's okay. Hopefully everything goes good, and uh, it's just a little bit of minor. They're just checking him out, so I hope everything's good because uh, he's a good competitor to race with, and we have a good time every week. Let's talk about your success on the tour. Three feature wins. Uh, you've been the man to beat on many nights. you got to be pleased. Yeah, I'm always around. It's just sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm just a little bit off. So, I mean, man, I can't thank my sponsors enough. Like, Ackland Insurance. Nathan's not here tonight, of course, because he's had to go somewhere else. And, uh, you know, everybody else. Total Rentals, Tate's Automotive, Sty's Tree Service, all the, all the guys that help us out. And my new crew for tonight, I got little Joe and uh, Corey helping me tonight. And Jimmy, so, I mean, we got it done. I'm fucking happy. Great job. Sean Evans gets it done. We'll get over here and talk to Aaron Turkey. Aaron, you grabbed a bunch of checkered flags on Friday. Tonight, you came up one spot short, uh, but a good point tonight for you. Yeah, I just got to wish uh, Jesse Costa, you know, speedy recovery. It sucks to see him leaving the ambulance, but... You know, it was pretty cool. The racing was showing all night, and we're back and forth, and, the, you know, we're 1-2 all week, really. <laughs> Three races to go, Aaron. Good luck as we get into the, the t final races here of the tour. Thanks. Uh, thanks to all the fans, too, for staying and uh, enjoying the show. There you have it, Aaron Turkey and Josh Hansen. Josh, solid run for you tonight in third. Uh, kind of a bit of redemption on a tough season for you, but you were in this one all night. You needed a couple more yellows. You might have had something for them. Talk about your night for us. Uh, yeah, you know, it was... I know I didn't have anything for those two. Those two were a lot better than mine, so I was just trying to hang on for third. Uh, I'd like to thank all my sponsors, Janie Recovery, Julie Swayze, 
Ace Alignment, Nisco, and everyone for coming out in the booth and everyone for helping back in the pits. There you have it. How about a hand for your top three, ladies and gentlemen? Sean Evans, Aaron Turkey, and Joshua Hansen. That does it for all of us down here for the Action Sprint Tour. We'll see you again in a couple weeks. We're back on September 2nd. Now it's up to Stephen and Fran for this amazing sports and race here to come. Thank you very much, Clinton Jeffrey. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's starting lineup for race number four of the 2018 Bellinger Electric Incorporated Sportsman Lightning Series here at the new Humberstone Speedway. Rolling off from position number 24 this evening out of Darien, New York, he drives the Turnbull Heating and Cooling. Fast line performance 20K, it's Kyle Lindman. Rolling off 23rd out of Port Colbert in the Sharp Racing 5S, it's Matt Sharp. Row number 11, starting position number 22 out of Ranceville, New York. He drives the Innovative Auto Repair South Transit Car Wash 33J. It's Robbie Johnston. To his inside out of Ransomville, he drives the Moly Magnetics, Niagara Hardwood, Harborson Farms 18W. It's JBH, Jim Harbison. Starting 20th out of Smithville, Ontario, he drives the Central Fabricating Alexander Awning 09. It's the Destroyer, Trevor Wright. To his inside, rolling off 19th out of St. Catharines in the Blue Moon Potatoes. Sharps Auto Center, 8S, it's Justin Sharp. 